Welcome back, y'all. I have been trying all afternoon to wake myself up because I want to take a nap. I want to take a nap really bad, but I'll be mad at myself if I do. So, I've been trying to do things to not take a nap. We made the little Rice Krispie treats with the kids. That was fun. Manly didn't want to decorate one. He just wanted to eat a plain Rice Krispie treat, so that's what he did. I have one of the candles going that I got yesterday. I got this one from Big Lots, okay? It's golden maple and pine cones. It smells like nothing. <laughs> It's a silent smeller. I mean, it smells really good, you know, when you just smell it. When it's burning, no. So I would say a no on these. The tops of these look like this. They have a little jingle bell. It's the only one I got from Big Lots because I didn't see any of the ones like I got back in the end of summer for fall. I didn't see any jars like that. I was looking for some of the, you know, similar jars because the name brand of that one, it didn't have a name brand. It just said Autumn Air on it, but I knew what the jars looked like. So I looked for some Christmas jars like that, none. They did have some other candles. Broy Hill, I think is how you say the one. They had a lot of those. They were expensive. I didn't want to chance them not having a very good throw. I think they were like $16. So I didn't get any of those. If y'all have, let us know. I might try one next time, but this one, this definitely, no. It's, I've had it burning for a little while. I'm trying to see if it has a name. It was only $6.99. No name brand on it or anything. But yeah, it's been burning for at least 40, 45 minutes now. I came inside, nothing. It smells like there's not even a candle burning. Oh, y'all. So I showed y'all in the video, TJ Maxx, first of all, was a madhouse yesterday. Big Lots, not busy at all. Sissy kept saying it's like we have the whole store to ourselves because there was hardly anybody else in there. TJ Maxx, however, complete opposite. It was packed full of people. There was one aisle that we kept trying to go down because Sissy was wanting to look at some of the stuff. We couldn't even get down it. It took us like four tries before we finally got to go down that aisle. But anyway, we went to the candle section, lots of people. So I didn't get to look really, really good at the candles because it's already a tight squeeze the way this TJ Maxx has it set up anyway, right there at the candles. But we saw that mashed potatoes one, right? We smelled it. Mashed potatoes. Let's see, Sissy. What is it? it smells like buttered popcorn. That's what it smells like. It smelled like mashed potatoes and also buttered popcorn. It could be either one. Sissy said don't get that one. Yes, don't. Well, anyway, we get up to the checkout, y'all. The line, it was almost like it was a holiday weekend, like Christmas weekend or something. I don't know what was going on. It was busy. So you know how TJ Maxx has all this fun stuff when you're in their line, right? It's like that last minute, spur of the moment, buy this now because you're about to check out kind of thing. Well, in that section, they also had a candle called Thanksgiving Dinner. And what was the other one, Sissy? Oh, yes mac and cheese they smelled the macaroni and cheese one smelled like macaroni and cheese right when i smelled it i'm not sure why but food like that in candle form like even right now i'm thinking about it it's made, it makes my stomach hurt i don't know cakes cobblers pies cookies yes burn that scent not mac and cheese it made my stomach hurt for real it definitely smelled like macaroni and cheese then we smelled the thanksgiving dinner one it for real and these candles do have a good throw the ones i'm talking about by the way it was the dw home candles they they work really well you can smell them when you burn them the thanksgiving dinner one literally i'm not kidding y'all it smelled like turkey and dressing or turkey and stuffing whichever one you make that is what it smelled like you could burn the thanksgiving dinner one the macaroni and cheese one and the mashed potato one and your house would smell like thanksgiving it would make my tummy hurt though i can still smell it right now it smelled exactly like turkey and it's weird like even the gravy you could even smell the gravy in there I'm surprised they didn't have a green bean casserole one or a cranberry sauce. Just finish it off. I mean, if you're gonna do, just do it all, do it all. Let us know if you would have bought those. I'm, I'm curious to know if anybody would want those. It's kind of like those weird ice cream flavors that other place makes. Well, not place, but you know, brand. They make those weird ranch dressing, ice cream, macaroni and cheese ice cream, pizza ice cream. I did get this family recipe. Isn't this so pretty? I just loved it. It was only $10 from Ross. Yeah, from Ross. It's so pretty. It says family recipe on this side too. I didn't get the price right on it. I figured it was going to be about $20, but it was only $9.99. I mean, this is so pretty. You just want to sit it out, you know, just look at it. Would you look at that? I was trying to think of something I could make in there today, but everybody wants cheeseburger quesadillas and that won't work. So we'll use it another day. Oh, let me show y'all the other candles real quick. This one I did get from TJ Maxx. It's gingerbread, just gingerbread. That's it. It smells really good and it has a wood wick. I love wood wick candles. Sensational is the brand of this one, I think. Yeah, sensational. From Bath and Body Works, we got cinnamon, sugared, 
pecans. We make those during the holidays, you know? Oh, I just stabbed myself in the nose with a candle wick. <laughs> All their three wick candles were on sale for 13 something. I can't remember. We know Bath and Body Works is gonna smell good. There's like, there's never a question about that. I need to check out some more of the Goose Creek candles this holiday season and see what they have going on because they also have a really good throw. Cheeseburger quesadillas is what's for supper with chips. This is a new recipe. Most of the time if I do cheeseburger wraps or anything like that, I just make the meat and then everybody puts whatever toppings they want to put on. But with these, you mix some stuff all together. We're gonna see how it is. Kind of like sloppy, not really like sloppy joe, cheeseburger sloppy joe quesadillas. We'll see. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's forget I said that. I don't even know. I must be one with sloppy joe. First, I'm making some tea. Manly did some decorating, he said. Oh, all the way in the laundry room? That is wonderful. That's good. They, they can watch us every time we go to put our clothes in the laundry baskets, right? Don't you love it? You changing them? I like them over here. You want to put them up there? Okay. Okay, close mm -hmm. your eyes. Okay, I got them closed. I like those spots. That's <laughs> perfect. Too. I need a taste of this caramel and just make sure it's still good. I would hate for this to be in that refrigerator and it be bad, you know, going bad. I would hate for that to happen, so I need to taste it real quick and just make sure, you know. I think it's fine. Nobody worry. Okay, so we're starting with two pounds of ground beef. We're gonna chop up half of this onion and add it in here with the ground beef. I think these are gonna be good. We make a little mayo relish sauce to go on them. Of course, if anybody, you know, doesn't want that on there, they can leave that off. So we just cook this until the ground beef is done. Then we're gonna drain it. We add in some ketchup, mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. While this is cooking, we'll go ahead and make the mayo relish stuff. We need two-thirds of a cup of mayonnaise. Okay, now we need some pepper. You can use the grinder there. Okay, so we've got mayonnaise and pepper in there. Now we're going to put a couple tablespoons of this dill relish. Alright, so we just mix all of this together. It's almost like tartar sauce. That's kind of weird. Okay. Ground beef is almost done here. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. Okay, we've got this drained. Now we're gonna put in about one and a half cups of ketchup, a third of a cup of mustard. Y'all seeing why I was thinking Sloppy Joe now? It's kinda looking like a Sloppy Joe mixture. A few tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna go with about two and a half to three. That is the meat mixture. We are almost ready to assemble. Cece shredding some cheese back there. We're gonna start with a little bit of cheese. Now some of the beef mixture. And that's it, that's all we put on this part. We just put the sauce on the top, kind of like a little dollop on the top of it. So there's the first one going on the skillet. So yeah, you can see why it's, I was thinking kind of like a sloppy joe cheeseburger style thing here really windy outside today y'all so that's why I'm not even attempting this on the Blackstone. I think I'm gonna put the sauce, the mayonnaise sauce on this one because I don't know why the recipe didn't say to put it on there anyway unless they just didn't want it to get hot. I don't know. We're gonna put it on here. Just a little bit of it. Okay, y'all, it's many hours later. We must update y'all. Number one on the cheeseburger quesadillas. Hang on, who's coming on down? Everybody, I'm gonna talk to y'all about this tomorrow. Y'all just, I've been gathering my thoughts on this show right here. And 
tomorrow I'm thinking about getting on a sailboat. Right. And taking y'all out with me. And, and if anybody can guess the price of this little thing right here, y'all can gladly just have that because it's been sitting in my living room for five months. That ab machine? And those weights. Yeah. Y'all left them in here and ain't nobody used them in probably two weeks. They've been sitting there. Well, just for 14 days, we've not used it. And she's already going to start letting people put bids in. That is crazy. But I got to update y'all on this candle over here. I put it in the little wood thing. Y'all remember this from the Hobbs that Titus loved so much. Uh, it smells like nothing. Right now we're hearing Bob Barker, but there's a little crackle. No smell though, nothing. Titus is over here trying to find him a snack and he has chosen What's my bed doing this? Spicy pickled baby beets. We really get into this, y'all. And these are old episodes, like from before we were born. But earlier, <laughs> I came in here and Tyler had been watching TV. And I was like, have you been watching The Price is Right? Let me tell y'all Like, something. have you been watching it without me? Yeah. <laughs> she almost woke up manly while ago when somebody won. I said, easy, baby. This was 30 years ago. Yeah, it Come to find exciting. out, it was 40 years ago. <laughs> Tyler has just found out there are Hot Pockets in that freezer. Son, you can have both of those Hot Pockets if you tell me the actual retail price of the one box of two Hot Pockets. Great value brand, $1.99. Titus wants scrambled eggs, but we gotta wash some. Oh, I forgot about the cheeseburger quesadillas. Everybody loved them. What'd you think about that mayonnaise sauce though? It was good, but it kind of, I think because whenever I said it reminded me of tartar sauce, that kind of threw me off a little bit from it. I had a hard time because I felt like I was eating tartar sauce on a cheeseburger. Maybe that's why they left that off and just had it as a topping. Here's your coffee, steaming. Mm -hmm.